name is Gary Guest. I am an author. I am with the Words Matter publishing team, and I have currently written three books. Two of those are humor books called Fertilizer for the Funny Bone, Volume 1, and Volume 2 is the other one. And uh, this book right here that I'd like to tell you about right now is called Brooklyn's Bridge. It is a historical fiction book, and it takes place uh, starting in the 1920s when immigrants moved to the United States. And then they uh, uh, have a son. His name is Brooklyn, but they call him Brooks. And during World War II, Brooks gets drafted into the war and becomes a fighter pilot and is eventually over in Germany. And on his first mission, when he is fight, fi uh, flying a fighter to escorting a B-17 bomber, uh, he runs into heavy fire. And at that point, I'd like to read you a little bit from my book. And this is from the chapter that is called The Mission. I hope you like it. Kira Nelson was a completely ordinary 12-year-old girl. That is, if ordinary is considered speaking to a crash-landed dragon in a language you didn't know until one minute ago, getting kidnapped by a boy wearing rocket boots, and getting taken through a portal to an interdimensional world inhabited by dragons. Just when Kira thinks she's never going to see her family and friends ever again, she meets the Dragon Keepers, a band of people sworn to protect dragon kind. One of these keepers explains to Kira that she is actually a dragon and that both Earth and the land she is currently in are in grave danger. Kira must journey across Cypuric, this dragon world, to change into her dragon form. But once Kira, now Kirvam, learns of her mysterious past and true self, trouble begins to brew. She has to protect both this dragon land of Cypuric and her newfound friends in a battle against the dark crump dragon, Kios, and his followers. Kirvam and the Dragon Keepers have to go straight to Kios' lair, fight a venomous dragon and break into his cave. Will Kirvam defeat Kios, or is this battle much more than what she thought? Only one Messerschmitt left. The German fighter was intent on taking out Brooks and Brooks had a problem. He was out of ammo. Something told Brooks if he made a run for it, the German might follow. But what if he didn't? One fighter could still bring down the B-17. Brooks also knew that they were very, clo very close to their target. If this German fighter was gone, the Germans probably couldn't scramble any more planes before the bridge could be wiped out. Brooks heard his father's voice say, always do your best. Brooks became the fox, the German was the hound. Brooks eased back on the throttle so the German could catch up. The kid from Kansas swung his plane around so he could fly past the left side of the B-17. In his headset, Brooks called out, Kelly, I'm out of ammo. I'm going to lead him past you. Everyone on the B-17 seemed to scream at the same time. No, don't do it. Lieutenant Garbs yelled, Borgman, take evasive action. Do not make yourself a target. I repeat, do not make yourself a target. In the belly of the plane, Kirby jumped over to look out of Kelly's window. Kill him, Kelly! Kill him! Kill him now! In the one or two seconds after Lieutenant Garbs' order, machine guns roared from both the German fighter and the B-17. Both fighters went down. Everyone on the bomber tried to find a place to look out of as they watched Brooks and the cherry pie tumble towards Earth. A trail of black smoke followed Brooks as he went out of sight. The crew of the B-17 was in shock. This naive young kid they hardly knew on one mission had proved to be the best fighter pilot they had ever seen. Then he more or less sacrificed himself for the sake of the mission. They were still alive because of Brooklyn Boardman. Bombardier Richards broke the silence. Guys, the bridge is in range in less than five minutes. In the cockpit, Lieutenant Garbs used his sleeve to wipe his eyes. He cleared his throat best he could and said, Richards, you've got the plane. Unload when you're ready. And Bob, 
don't miss. The cost of this bridge just got a hell of a lot higher. How did they get to this point in time in the story and what happens after that? Well, you'll have to buy the book to find out. And uh, early reviews on the book have been very good. The people that have bought it and reported back to me said they really enjoyed it. I think you will too if you have the opportunity to pick one up. I encourage you to do so. My name's Gary Guest and happy reading to all you.